and welcome back to another exciting video we have made a homemade hydroponic system for our new little tomato plants yes i'm going to go through the basics in this system of how we made it just out of everyday household items and how well it's going to work yes looks a little bit gothic doesn't it we have our chains we have our horses you don't actually need horses to make this system but it does help Anyway, let's get started with the video and go through what happened with the old system and why we're upgrading. And we're inside the cage. This is where the magic happens. Yes, we have a cage to stop all the bugs. There's our purple beans on our, what are they, chains? Yes, that's the word for those things, chains. We have some purple beans growing up our skeletons. <laughs> Cape gooseberries, yeah, they're going well way too much stuff planted in there we have been harvesting lettuce it is delicious everything else is kind of a little bit too many for the pots but we're going to deal with that when we deal with that yeah that's going to be one solid carrot but here are our tomato plants this is a solar aquaponic system well hydroponic it's not aquaponic it is a hydroponic system because it does not have any fish. We have our hydroponic solution. We have our solar panel up there and that is pumping through there. Look at the roots. That is ridiculous. All the way down the bottom of that Beto bucket. Just turned off at the moment because our sun is sort of in between two trees, but it's been going all day. Now I've just been attaching the tomatoes to the chains as they grow so they won't just fall over. So far, so good. It seems to be working fine. And obviously we can go right to the top. Then I'll probably just prune them, I think. Sort of like the beans have got to the top. They're not gonna go any further. I don't think they're gonna get through the cage. <laughs> we can only hope. But these are the tomato plants that we're gonna put in the other system. Yeah, so this hydroponic system, again, it's still attached to that same little bucket down there. So when the sun actually wakes up the water will pump through that and go through that but these have got a little bit too big for this system the roots on these are going right the way down so these are going to be transplanted into the other system hopefully i won't damage the roots too much if i can even get them out of that we'll figure that one out yes well, we'll go to that next but all those are coming out of that it's sort of more a setup for seeds not really for plants or anything like that where these beto buckets are going to support like a four or five foot plant not a problem that is not going to support much more than a tiny little plant like that and talking about a tiny little plant like that these are the same age as those but they are heaps bigger because yeah more nutrients they can get their roots in the nutrients where these it's only on the daytime that's kind of crazy yeah i just realized that like when this is off they still have access to the water in the bottom because it's about a centimeter or so of water these don't look at the difference wow okay so yes if you're going to get some sort of hydroponic system get those don't get that i mean it'll work fine for germinating seeds but that's about it do need to water some of these because it was a super super hot day check out my lettuce so good none of these are hydroponic they're just stuffed in a pot these are hydroponic and these have just started to take off because the roots have just started to hit the water look at that so there was hardly any roots about a week ago they are just buckets with a hole drilled in the side so it won't completely flood the plant so you've got enough oxygen for the roots and once they hit the hydroponic solution which they just have they will just take off crazy yeah it's just late in the afternoon so we don't get much sun this time of day but they do get full sun the whole day just starting to get some little tiny flowers happening so those are potential tomatoes okay so before we stick these in the new system we're going to show you the new system and yes, it is a little bit better. Every time I do a system, okay, it looks weird, doesn't it? <laughs> the chains are there for a reason. Okay, the horse skulls are not there for a reason, but 
don't even go there. Chains, ideally, like you saw with those other tomatoes, when the tomatoes are in here, they are going to be attached to the chain so they don't fall over and then they can grow out the top. So this is just an old steel stand. I had rusty Minji, just painted it black so it'll last for a couple more years at least. This is just standard four inch gutter, I'm pretty sure. I have drilled some dodgy holes in it. I got these cool little pots from eBay. Yeah, they look big enough to support you know, a little bit of media and the roots can come through the bottom of that. And hopefully they will not clog these pipes because they're a decent sized pipe. Probably could have gone a little bit bigger with the pipe, but yeah, we went for that because we went for that. A couple of leaks, but we're dealing with that. We have painted it black, obviously, to stop the sun from breaking down, you know, the PVC pipe. It is solar, so there is a solar panel right there and i think it's just a 600 liter an hour solar pump which is sitting in there so the water's just pumping up going along there going through there for a little overflow and back in so when the power is off at night because it's solar there'll be enough water sitting in the bottom so hopefully the roots will still stay wet because yeah if it's off all night and it's really hot in the middle of summer they're going to just completely go meh so all going well there should be about two three centimeters of water in the bottom of this and it should work super super well we can only hope this is my old beto bucket system yes the peppers completely died off they are just growing back now we have a few random strawberry plants not enough light in here so i need to get rid of all the stuff on the roof i keep saying that haven't done that for like about six months now so yeah I really should do that. But that's where we are with the new system. <laughs> yeah, what even are we doing? Oh my, what's this? And my cherry is going superly awesome. Oh look, there is a bug, praying mantis. Hello. They are good for the garden. More praying mantis, please. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is move the tomatoes into there. Well, that was a little bit of an ordeal. Couldn't actually get them out of the pot because look at all the roots. So I've just cut the bottom of some of those pots because I didn't want to rip all the roots out and completely destroy the poor thing. But at least now I know they're sitting perfectly in the hydroponic solution. We have some blinding sun, hopefully, unless something decides to eat them all. They are all going to perk up in the next day or two. And then I can start attaching them to the chain all going well. So I think, yeah, once they perk up, should be good. So that gives us more tomatoes in our weird little gothic sling tomato area. <laughs> I know. So hopefully... Oh, I did get some more corn as well. What's that? That is bicolored sweet corn. I know, I still need to get that organized. Haven't done that. It is later in the day. I really need to water some of those. That is where we are. So we finally got the tomatoes out of that system. Hopefully they will take off and get about the same size as these ones. They've got a little bit of catching up to do. Yeah. That is where we are now. So if you do want an update in this, I'm sure I will have an update on this system in the next couple of weeks, see how we go. All going well, the bugs won't wipe them out. I think we do already have a cool little spider. Here's a little spider, there you are. He will hopefully eat a few bugs and the same with that little guy there. Hello, look how cute you are. Yeah, so praying mantises and spiders really really need to sort of take over the garden to get rid of all these caterpillars and bugs that are going to completely try and wipe everything out in the next sort of month or so but tomatoes grow super fast hopefully in a month we will have tomatoes but there is our system if you did enjoy this weird weird video click the thumbs up so i know if you want to subscribe subscribe there will be lots more weird videos like this one yeah we are having fun with gardening in the subtropics <laughs> 
Anyway, click the videos on the screen if you want to see more, and we will see you in the next video.